Hey everyone, we're going to go, go through the game menu down here, or game settings, that you can access in the game. These change a few little things, let you kind of customize your whole everything, you know, feel here. And this also covers saving and loading maps. So when you first hit game settings, you're going to see save and the four save slots. Now these, you don't get to name the slots or anything, so you do have to kind of use a little bit of memory here. But we're going to start with zombie settings. Now your first one is kind of self-explanatory, speed. You can go up or you can go down. It goes in increments of tenths. So up 0.1, down 0.1. And this just controls, you know, zomb how fast the zombies actually move. So if I just put like one zomb two zombies there and we start cranking up zombie speed, you can see, you know, they get way faster or we can slow them down to way slower. And at zero, they do still kind of lunge around a little bit, but they are almost immobile. Now, at point one, you know, slow as anything. We also have a, the aggro range, and this controls just how far they see someone and start attacking. So if you up that to a thousand, they will start seeing from way further out. So if there's no one... If you turn that up so and say no one's in this area, you keep cranking it up, and they see that guy out there, they'll go after him. Kind of a way to, you know, on these large maps to get them more aggressive, get them moving in the direction you want. Or you can turn it way down. They're kind of like blind zombies, you know, they can't see as well. And lastly, we have this one, infection range, or infect range. This turns on the airborne infection. So if we crank that up to 400, you'll see that guy right there just got infected. He didn't get bit. The guy in there didn't get bit. That's the airborne infection. So you can, it starts turned off by default. You know, it starts at zero. But if you turn that on, you can make a much harder scenario where just being around a zombie is enough to do it again. Next, we're going on to game settings, and these are a little bit different. We got weather. Weather starts putting clouds, maybe he turns on some rain over time, things like that. You know, it's mostly cosmetic. I'm going to turn it back off here. Some phones can't handle it. You know, it does have performance things. Performance boost turns off some extra features and tries to speed things up. Good for the lower end phones that can't handle this. And destructible walls. By default, that's on. So if a zombie's hitting on this wall here, over time they'll get through it. Or if a zombie hound is, or a hellhound is trying to break through, he will break through. But if you turn it off, all these walls are now indestructible. Nothing can break through any of these walls. By default, if they do break through with it on, you know, the walls will break. When it breaks, there's rubble. And if a human goes through the rubble and back or, you know, just walks through it, it'll start getting repaired. And lastly, we have day and night. Day and night lets it actually go into night mode. You'll see it start getting dark. And the spotlights, like you can kind of see, you know, the police have flashlights out already. The street lights are on. You can see the soldiers have their lights out. You know, various things like that. And over as it gets darker, it'll get pitch dark where you can't see any of the zombies. They, the people will still be able to kind of see them. You can see the civilians don't really have flashlights. They're not really prepared. There's zombies out there. Zombies just got a street light there. And that's what will tick that day and night up. I'm going to turn that off again. And human settings. By default, infect chance is at 100. So if they get bit, they're infected. If that whole, you know... If you turn on that infection range for the airborne infection, it means every human that's spawned can be infected. This only affects new spawns, so if I turn it down to 0% chance, they can still be infected. You know, anyone who's there already, they can be infected. But if I put in some new ones, like that guy, he is no longer eligible to be infected. You can see he got bit, he never got infected though, because I turned it off. If I go back in, I can set it to 100. If I spawn a zombie on top of him, he is still not infectable. But he will still die if bitten enough. And lastly, we have peace mode. If you've seen that in the other one, that just affects those raiders. If it's on, the raiders aren't going to attack anyone. 
if it's off like it is now, everyone is fair game. Yeah, they will shoot civilians. They'll shoot the police. The police will shoot them back. And, you know, that's how that kind of goes. Just some things to note when that is off. If there is something like, see how there's a civilian over there? He's not shooting the cop because he can still... There's a little bit of a bug where they sense the nearest unit, which happens to be that civilian. So he's wanting to shoot the civilian, but he knows he can't. But that's just a little bit of a bug that might get fixed in the future. But that covers our main game settings, so now we're on to save. Save will save most things, but it will not save, like, a patrol route. If I tell this guy to patrol down to the end of the hall, he'll be patrolling now. And if I go and put, say, some vehicles, like I put a police, op police thing and maybe a, that, and I empty them out... When we save this, and we come, we go on exit, then we go load files, and we go back to one, the zombies are still out there, and everything, that guy is no longer patrolling because it doesn't save patrols, and these vehicles are now full again. That might change in the future, but right now, it's a thing, you know. If, you, if it's there, if the vehicle's there, it'll always be full when you load it, or when you reload the game. So, just keep that in mind if you save a game and you've already, like, unloaded all these cop cars and stuff and formed barricades. Before you start it off again, you might have to unload and delete manually delete them, remove those police or whatever into different areas. But that wraps up saving, loading, and game options there.